other people should be wary of booking anything with these people because they don't want to be honest with you. They want to lie to you and just give you the runaround. I mean, I certainly wouldn't book again. So that's the first thing. And the second is, hey, if you want to file a claim in small claims court, you probably can. And you don't really need to worry about jurisdiction. Now, the thing I haven't figured out, though I've written them a letter, because I do know they're incorporated in Delaware, is whether they'll receive um, service by mail. Most people will. Most agents will. But I have got no reply to that. So I was kind of waiting to see if I got a reply. Otherwise, I'll just mail it to the Secretary of State of Delaware. And whether they appear or not, I mean, it's clear cut. They owe me the money. By the way, it's $2,703.45 for the three tickets. So it's not a small amount. Not huge. Not small. Well, let me go back almost a year now, more than a year. My friends had contacted me to see if I wanted to go with them to Spain. They had already booked their tours, and uh, it was an overland tours. We were going to visit three of the major cities there. And I talked to my husband, and he said, no, I don't want to (laughs) go. But if you want to, go ahead. So I told them, yes, let's do this. And then I... uh, got in touch with the the, um, tour people, and I set up my tour, but we waited because we didn't really know quite where we would start the tour. And we knew the city, but we didn't know hotels or anything like that. So we waited to get our tickets there. And by the time uh, we were informed of this, then I said, well, let's, let's look for tickets and see what's reasonable, what we can find. Well, I found ASAP tickets, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> uh, now. And uh, on the 11th of February, I booked tickets for three of us. And they also informed me, Jonathan was their uh, agent I talked with, that, he, and he told me that uh, I would be wise to get the warranty on it or the insurance on the tickets because they were no refund, no returns kind of thing. Well, okay, so I we did that too. My friend said, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that all settled away, and I paid for all of it with a credit card. Well, in about March, I heard from President Trump at, that uh, all the – all the incoming call, uh, flights from Europe, and of course by this time Spain had canceled all the incoming flights, that we weren't going. <laughs> so I contacted the tour company, and they were very um, helpful and, and canceled at our tour, and then I contacted um, ASAP Tickets, and they were not helpful at all. No, you can have a, you can exchange your ticket, and I said, you know, I'm nearly 80 years old. I don't know if I'll travel again any place after this. And, of course, the pandemic was raging in Europe, and it was coming ashore, and I said, "Uh uh-uh, I don't think we can go. And I said, I need my money back. If I want to go someplace down the road, then I'll start all over again, but I'm certainly not going to agree to having you hold my money. Well, then uh, another time uh, I contacted him, most of this was by telephone, and, I, and he said, yes, I've looked into it, and, and uh, you can have your money back, but it'll cost you, I think the first time was $160 per ticket, more. And I said, wait a minute, why? <laughs> well, it cost us to get our money back from the airlines. Well, I found that that wasn't true and that they already received their money back from the airlines and those airlines were British Air and American Air. Okay, it was just, you know, a runaround. And I said, you know, I have the protection on the tickets. It doesn't say anything about I have to pay more. And he said, well, I'm sorry, that's going to be our policy. You can certainly book another another ticket with us. And I said, No, I want my money back. 
Okay, then I go to Colorado and spend some time at our cabin there. And that was in July. And we've gone back and forth several times about this money. And of course, I'm still not seeing it. I had filed a dispute with my credit card company, by the way. And then, of course, their answer was, well, they were non-refundable. And, 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 uh, and I said, yeah, but I bought the, the protection. No, they were non-refundable. Anyway, that all canceled out. And Jonathan kept saying, well, with these disputes, I can't get your money back. I said, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and cancel those out. So the disputes were ended with my credit card company. But I'm still not seeing any money back on this. And I went to our cabin, which has very, very poor telephone reception. And usually it has to be way early in the morning. And so I just said, you know, I told him I'm, I'm going to the cabin. It'll be a while before I come back and I will contact you and I hope to, to see that you are, they, they're going to give me my money back. Well, I was gone until the middle of September. And when I got back, I contacted Jonathan. And he said, um, uh, well, I'm still working on that. But you now need to email me those, um, uh, the, the information that says you just, uh, the disputes were gone. So I emailed him, and he, he emailed me back and said, I can't read it. Do it again and make it bigger. Okay, so I did it again. And then uh, in well, by this time, we're, we're in November. And early in November, uh, he wouldn't answer the phone. He wouldn't email me back. Uh, <laughs> this is getting the run around. And early in November... He finally answered the phone and he said, oh, well, they refunded your price to your credit card company. Well, of course, I hadn't gotten my latest. He said that was done on October 21st. And I said, well, it's funny. I haven't seen anything about it, but I'll contact my credit card company and, and see if that is true. Well, it wasn't. And then again, wouldn't he wouldn't answer I wouldn't get anything and I got a new person finally to answer the phone on a, a different line and that was Ward and then we started the run around again well uh <laughs> you got to pay more money and I said I'm not paying more money I need my money back well we'll 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 schedule some other trip for you no I want the money back okay so they wouldn't answer. I got nothing. Finally, I called supposedly uh, Ward's, uh, the, the, the person above him. And he said, no, it'll cost you $160 a ticket more to get your money back. And I said, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> and I hung up the phone. Well, just... Friday, I got an email from good old Jonathan, the first person I started with, and he and the email said, "We'll give you a voucher, forty five dollars for another trip." And I said, uh, "You've got to be kidding! You know, I checked with the credit card company. You lied to me. You've given me the runaround." And I said, "You know, there's no other alternative I can see but to sue you, and that's what I'm going to do." And that's the way we ended it. I mean, how do you how do you run a business and treat people that way? I mean, to me, that's just incredible and abusive. Well, anyway, I am a lawyer by I, I went through law school and I practiced for a good many years. And then I said, no, this is not much fun anymore. And my husband kept saying, well, come retire with me. Well, it took a while to get rid of all my my case work, but I finally did and basically retired and haven't renewed my um, legal standing anymore. So that's kind of expired. But, you know, I got trained. And so I looked into where we stood with the small claims court. And I can I can file for anything under uh, I think it's 15,000 now in small claims court. And I, got, I was contacted by another person who said we're we're going to sue them. Uh, we'll get a class action going. And I said, those are pretty hard to get the court to approve a class action. But hey, add my name. 
And he and then I said, no, I decided I'll just go ahead and file the small claims in our courts here. And he says, how can you get them to appear? And I said, don't have to. If they do business in your state, they're in your state. So anyway, I haven't done that yet, but that's, I guess, what I'm going to have to do next. Because well, I wasn't having any success with the company. I mean, they just passed the buck to another agent and or they they wouldn't answer phones they wouldn't answer emails and when I finally would get through I'd get a new agent to work with uh, I went through of course three of them and then we're back to the first one but <laughs> nothing changed with them so I thought well we've got to do something else this isn't working mm -hmm.